Okay, camera, I'm telling you for the last time. Hi, everyone. I'm Knorr, and this is a channel update thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been trying to record this for a while, but I'm having some issues with my microphone and that it's actually recording to another microphone, making me sound horrible. Hopefully, <laughs> it's working now. Uh, uh, I haven't done a, um, a channel update in a while, and but it's been about a month and a few extra days. So I thought it was time because things have happened and I do have some things I would like to report. I'm going to look at my sheet sheet down here and make sure I don't forget anything. Right! First and foremost, I realized earlier today that the Steam community, or the Steam Knorr community if you want has actually had its first birthday. It, it, it wasn't today, and it wasn't yesterday. In fact, it was 26 days ago. Um, because it was founded on the 1st of March, 2013. And today, when I'm recording this, it's the 26th of March. Uh, well, a year later, so 2014. Which is bloody amazing uh thank you so much for uh hanging out with us and making well the past year all the more amazing we played a lot of blood bowl and had a lot of blood bowl tournaments but we've also played some other games and for mo for the most part i think we've had a pretty swell time so let's keep on doing that so if you haven't joined the steam community already what's wrong with you go do it right now um because we're cool people that's why. <laughs> um, so that was like the big cool news, but the news that's actually related to, you know, something that's coming up is uh, this one. Oh, this is a horrible segue. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. This Sunday, this 30th of March, I will be uh, playing Blood Bowl and streaming it for the whole day. It's like a marathon stream. But I will not be making a new marathon stream team. I will be using the ones I already have. Why, do you ask? Because I never get to play with them, really. And now I'm going to invest some time into playing with them. Uh, that's one of the reasons. The other m actual reason is that Ampillion reset the rankings for Mr. Hadwick Invitational. Where all of the stream teams resign. That's the league I play in. Um, and the reason he did that was because... As you probably saw, me and Ethan cast the final of the Mr. Hadwick Championship Invitational, um, otherwise uh, league commissioned by uh, Fake Life. But uh, that the Championship Invitational works by taking the top-ranked teams or coaches in Mr. Hadwick Invitational. So now that's over, uh, the league's been reset. Everyone has uh, an equal chance to get into the top 10 ranked or whatever it is. Uh, and I'm going to try and do that because it would be cool. And I think you should do the same. It's going to take a few games. Not that many, actually. Uh, depends a lot on, of course, how many games I play. But also how well you do uh, currently. And before we had, like, a few of the top ranked teams had, like, seven games or something. And others had a lot more. Uh, but I'm going to take my stream teams on Sunday. And uh, I'm going to play with them. And hopefully uh, you'll spin too. And we'll spend the day playing Blood Bowl. And hopefully climbing the ladder up to that, those uh, top ranked slots. So we can get into next season of the Championship Invitational. Uh, so if you want to play Blood Bowl. Or just watch me play Blood Bowl for a day. Sunday. Ooh, lucky day. Yeah, Sunday. I'm, I'm like desperately trying to figure out if I double book myself. But I don't think I have. <laughs> Uh, what more do I need to mention? Right! Um, speaking of Mr. Hadwick Championship Invitational, after I posted the finals, which me and Ethan cast, it was a lovely time on the YouTubes. Uh, usually I just do casts for Twitch, but I felt like the final uh, deserved to be on YouTube because it was a good game. Um, and it was fun to cast. A lot of you really liked it and thought I should do more. And good news is that uh, I will be doing more. The School of Hard Blocks Season 2. Uh, there's actually several leagues in the School of Hard Blocks. Uh, which is our beginner leagues uh, in the Steam community. Are coming to an end. And uh, Smiling, who's 
got the first School of Hard Blocks Season 2 League, the one that's made the furthest so far, asked me to cast the finals, which I will. Hopefully, I'll get Ethan in on it too. Uh, and hopefully, we can cast the other uh, leagues as well. I, I need to make... I need, <laughs> I need to check with the other commissioners. Uh, but if you have a league that's somehow tied to the Steam community, don't hesitate to uh, get in contact with me and see if ask me if I want to cast... Um, the finals of your league uh i probably want to uh because it's fun and it's it's nice to uh show off other coaches other than me it also means i'm less fucking committed to bad dice so i don't get as grumpy uh but hopefully we'll get more of those it'll be really fun um and it has been fun from like the ones we've casted up it cast in quite a few actually um last but not least also demo uh, <laughs> blood bowl news uh, our uh democracy team finally made it to team value 2000 uh last sunday which is good and i had that set as kind of the stopping point for the team I like playing with teams over Team Value 2000, and I think you should keep playing with those kinds of teams because it's it, for me it adds an extra dimension having many skills, and it's uh, it's fun to play against and with uh, teams like that. Unfortunately, since it's random matchmaking, it's really hard to get games at that Team Value, so you have to spin a while and then just wait and wait and wait. Um, so we're doing it again with another state with another team starting at team value 1000 and working our way up to hopefully 2000 again uh if you have any suggestions for what race to pick please post them in the comments below if you do post a suggestion give me a reason or an argument why i should select that team it's important to me uh if you just shout it brace i'm probably just going to disregard it because i want a team that's flexible and can be built in many different ways um which is why chaos worked so well there are other teams like that i've been thinking about possibly undead necromantic humans amazons possibly there are a few different ones that'll work really well uh underworld or skaven they have mutation access so that's cool uh, if you have any suggestions post them below like i said other than that see you on sunday Actually, see you on Friday and then on Sunday. But you know how it works. Uh, I'll be in Knorr. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.